yourself so much about art is every one of you are looking at that and thinking about something different. God has blessed us with the gift of interpretation and understanding. Let me tell you what it means to me. Those old rusty broken chains and that skull of death. It's life. And that skull may be different kinds of death for each one of us. It may be a death that is creeping into you in the, in the form of addiction. Or in the form of just not caring. Or in the form of selfishness. But the beauty of the picture is, I don't care what your skull is. It's under the cross. When I read scripture, it talks about Golgotha being where Jesus was crucified. And literally it translates to the hill of the skull. I don't care what your skull is. It's under the cross. He has trumped it. He has gone above and beyond anything you could have done. He has gone above and beyond anything that could hurt you or take your life. There's some people here tonight. I've heard lots of prayer and lots of conversation since we last met in this building. I don't know what all of it is. But I know God's moving here. And I feel like we need to take this opportunity to share with you guys what we've been praying all week. Leading up to this event. And that we've been praying at least two or three times every day since we kicked this thing off in the back. We've been praying for salvation. And, and, and don't get me wrong, I'm not saying we're looking for a hundred of you to come down here and give your life to the Lord. I really hope, since this is a church function, that there are most of you who have already made that decision. But when I say salvation, when you look in the Greek, when you read verses like Romans, where he says, if you believe and you confess, the name of Jesus Christ will be saved. That kind of salvation, that word is sozo. And what that literally means is to be healed, to be made whole, to be made one. And so as we pray salvation over this conference, guys, again, we're not looking for some drastic altar call. What we're looking for is a bunch of kids that are going to stand with us and raise their fist in the air and say, I want to be free. I'm tired of looking at the skull my whole life and ignoring what God's already trumped it with. Whether my problem is emotional or physical or spiritual, to be saved, to be made whole is to correct it all. There are emotional hurts in this room there's physical pain in this room tonight. And there may even be some lost souls in this room tonight. We're praying for salvation. And as you guys go to your youth group times and you talk to your youth leaders, I guarantee you that's what they're praying for too. Lord, we thank you. We thank you for allowing us to gather together this weekend. We thank you for the opportunity to just love you and show it in such different expressions all weekend long, Lord. But just worship you in everything we do. But we just pray that that would instill in us a, a want to worship you wherever we are, whatever we're doing. I pray, Lord, for salvation tonight. I pray that there are some uh, emotional hurts in this room, Lord, that you would just that you would just tap these kids on the shoulder, Lord, that you would touch these students or these adults or whoever it is with this pain and that you would say, look above the pain. I've already paid for it. Lord, if there's any, any physical hurts, if there's anybody with any uh, condition, Lord, if there's anyone with anything uh, uh, holding them back from running full speed in freedom, Lord, we just pray that you would give them a touch tonight. We pray that your Holy Spirit would move drastically in this place. And Lord, if there is anyone, anyone in this room who doesn't know you, who doesn't have a relationship with you, that you would
withdraw them to you. That you would pull them into salvation tonight, Lord. That you would show them that you have so much more to offer than just not going to hell. That you want us to live life to the full. That you want us to live life free. In Jesus' name we pray. Don't be scared to do that as we sing.